Hi all, Cynthia here from NB Pretty Papers back today with another layout for the Crafty Maven Getaway channel. Today is Free Flow Wednesday and I've decided that I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media on this page. So the photos that I am scrapping are of my son when he, we went out picking some blackberries and then some jam that I made. So we went pick blackberries, made some jam. And so I've decided that I would make the background look like blackberry stones because let's face it, blackberries are delicious, but I got that messy. And so we all had, um, you know, stained fingers and quite a few stained mouths during the picking process. So I've pulled out two colours here. I've pulled out a really um, navy blue and a red and initially I mixed the two together to get a sort of a purple feel and now I'm going back in with just a little bit more blue to so that there wasn't enough and just um, swashing some on the page and then adding some drops. There we go, dried all that off. And I've put this paper from my stash. Once again, I think the colours just look um, like that purpley stain that you can get from blackberries. So I'm going to, to run with that. The paper itself is from a paper pad that you would buy at our local reject shop. It has a very slight sheen to the paper this one is a bit of a specialty paper as they like to call them and I'm going to use this paper to back both of my photos decided that as I always do I put my mixed media in the middle of the page and I think it's you know absolutely swamped with mixed media and then in reality I realized that well, I'm going to cover all that up. I need to make the mixed media on the outside of the edge of the page a little bit more. So I come back in, um, and splash some more around so it goes closer to the edge. So when I put my photos down, you actually see it. And it looks like a horrible mess at this stage. And I have to admit, even I was thinking, oh, I don't know about this. But I kept on going. Uh, one thing I've learnt is most mixed media um, pages or even art journals or artwork all go through a stage where they look pretty bad. But if you just keep going, it comes out the other end okay. And I personally think that's what happened with this one. I really like the way it turned out. So I mounted both of the photo on that purpley paper and now I've gone in and pulled out this piece of green strip from a paper pad that I have and going to back both the green or both the purple pieces onto that as well so you would have noticed from the inspiration piece at the beginning it has some purples and some um, bright greens as well so I certainly have pulled those colors for this layout Just deciding how I want to mount them up and then I'll do the other side as well. Why that's going, how's everyone been? You all managed to do a little bit of scrapping or a little bit of art journaling or whatever it is that you like to do. I haven't done a lot lately, I have to admit. I'm, I'm really uh, at a crossroad where I don't know whether I should change my layouts from 12 by 12 because I'm very conscious of the space that it takes up and you know how many albums I'll end up with and move into a traveler's notebook I like the idea um, so I just made myself a little traveler's notebook uh, the other day and I'll see I might use that for a little while and see what I think of it I'm just a bit scared that I don't know I won't get as much as the image or it won't capture the memories the same. I'm not real sure what I'm worried about. 
um, because obviously you can't put as many you know four by six photos on the page so I'm um, yeah we'll see we'll see how we go so you may see a few travelers notebook layouts coming up for me so I went through my stash before starting the layout and just pulled out a big stack of purple and blue and some green, no purple and green, no, I don't know, a couple of different colours, purple and blue and green I think it was, um, and that I thought I might use on this layout. And as you can see I have those big chipboard flowers there, I use those. Also pulled out some thickers and some um, words, I guess you would call them, from my stash and I'm going to use those. So that currently is from a pink Fresh Studio pack that I received in one of my kits recently. When I say recently, I think it was last year. And then you saw me pull out the Blackberry um, Alphas, which are a little bit of a... Uh, puffy shiny alphas and then I just pulled out a couple of stickers from my stash as well. Also in the inspiration piece was some cotton, some reels of cotton so I've decided uh, I might put some of those behind my embellishments and they also remind me a little bit of the messy tangly look of a blackberry bush. I was initially going to put a few different colour threads behind, but um, I just did one in the end. And I come back in off camera as well and use the hot glue gun to glue down all the three chipboard elements that I end up putting on the page. Um, I just don't feel like the double-sided tape would be strong enough to hold those, so... But I just hadn't turned it on at the stage of doing this and I didn't want to stop so I just thought I'd wipe it down with a bit of tape and I'll pull it up a bit later. Then I just go through all the bits and pieces that I have off to the side to see what I can use. So I end up sticking mainly with purple and this here, this, this is awesome, is pretty much the only piece that is blue that goes on the page. But I think the blues, I don't know, I think the tone just went well with the purples in the background. So I decided to leave it and not worry too much that there wasn't any other blue on the page. Well, that's a little bit of a lie. You saw me just tuck in on that flower just there. There it is. I tucked in that wild at heart word phrase and um, the writing on that's blue as well so that does go on that's just a little bit of a branding strip off a Coco Vanilla Studio collection her wild at heart collection when I got some of the papers I cut off a few of those and kept them so up the top there there was a, a chipboard um, floral piece that had some little berries on it so I decided to put that up there I think it looks um, goes well with the blackberries and then I had a little chipboard um, another chipboard piece that has the button on it I decided I'll stick that on the top of that piece which sort of matches the two that I already have so now I'm going to make this quite a a central layout I guess a um, bit of a triangle where it sort of starts at a point at the top and comes down to a wider bottom and that looks like the design that I end up with just tuck that little bit of purple behind that floral just to bring the purple up to there and it goes with the little bits of flowers that I'd end up tucking into the, the wood the chipboard pieces down the bottom Pull out a couple of puffy, um, puffy, puffy things. Words always escape me. I don't know how people remember what things are called. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I get halfway through and I think, what are they called? They're little puffy things. 
Um, and I do come back to those and put a um, one little puffy thingy-jibby on the page. Puffy sticker, I think, is probably what people would call them. Just finished with this little cluster up here, just so there's no more of the um, other little bits of ephemera that I want to put on. And that pretty much comes to the end of the layout. I pull out my coloured uh, pens here and I do a little bit of journaling, which I do off screen, and that is done. And I just write about how we like to pick the jam and make, uh, pick back rows and make jam and love eating it. So if you're stuck with me this far, thank you very much. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, um, leave a comment, subscribe to the Crafty Maven Getaway channel and my channel, NB Pretty Papers, and I will catch you on the next video. Until then, have a lovely week, a lovely day, or a lovely month. Bye.